Yeah. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Hoarding Dead Season 4. This is episode 2, the official episode 2. We had started a recording and it ended up breaking halfway through it. I'm Sam. We're the only two playing today, but that is okay because uh, we can keep things a little more under control <laughs> with just us two. All right, um, so we need to go that way. And again, you guys are watching Sass's uh, viewpoint for this because we can't record it on mine. So it's on her viewpoint, but that's okay. Or she can run it better than me. It may have some intermittent lag, but for some Are reason you can't change people? that. No shooting me. I had enough of Togo shooting me. Bro. And he shot me too. <laughs> Togo is terrible with arrows, guys. Don't, don't enter it. I agree. That is a B. Punk. Level 13. So yeah guys, we're in a hub city that is in a desert. And uh, part of this hub city has a lot of buildings just randomly scattered about. There's a few shops. It's not a very big hub city. It's like maybe 8 blocks. It's not like the central hub city either because it's not at coordinate zero zero. And apparently this is the end of this side of the... Uh, you thought it was a Um, we've been north, so let's go south down the road. Well, first let's see where that's dropping. Right there, right there. Right up over there. You wanna go that way? It's dropping, uh, just southwest. Sets. Yeah, up dog, dog, dog. Watch yourself. Good job. That's right, you're tanky. <laughs> How much health you got? Yeah, I see it. Come at me, bud. I might have an antibiotic on me. Stupid zombie alluding. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's this way. It's gonna lose the smoke very soon. Kill our followers. And I'm heading to you. So yeah, guys, uh, as we mentioned before, we did have a mini bike, but the horror stole it. We had it parked out front of our main base, and out of nowhere came a bunch of hoarders, and boom, they just like stole it in the middle of the night. It's funny how the horrors do things. So maybe some somewhere down the line we'll find a hoarder that has the uh, mini bike parts on it. They're a bit buggy though, they're kind of really difficult to use, I wish they would use the camera mode of movement like the characters do. You see it anyway? It's still a little ways out. We should see it, it's in a desert so it should stand out pretty well. Yeah, I'm 
Martino. I don't see anything yet. We may have fixed the lag issues, but we was having some serious lag uh, in the recording and been trying everything to fix it, but uh, it's not it working so well. I don't think we're gonna find it. Let's find a high lookout spot. Yeah, those are arches, they're awesome. It's also a new thing they added in Alpha 12 for anyone not realizing that they've made the desert biomes a lot more easily found. I think I see a duffel bag over there. We might do something and build with an archway as the center of our town too. I think it's a lot. Wait, wait, wait. I think I found it. Right behind you. You can track me. I think I found it. It's by a car over there. If that's a box. Might be a rock, but it looks pretty square. This way. Easily lost. We don't want to separate too much. I think this is it though. It looks like a box. Is that it? Found it. Nice. Alright guys, well you've seen us find an airdrop. So the airdrops do exist now. <laughs> no way, he don't need to craft anymore then. No way. Alright, so we gotta go northeast. Our actual base is north. <laughs> I like in real life, yeah. The heat in real life is pretty bad here. I don't think I want it either. The price of being with you. Alright, it's over, I'm leaving. <laughs> it's too hot to hate. It's too hot to be with you. I'm leaving. No. Oh man, that'd be hilarious. No, no. That would be a terrible idea. Terrible idea. You shoot me, I shoot back. Sadly, you would win. Yeah, I know. You would definitely win. I got like very low health thanks to them stupid dogs. box yet. We're supposed to spawn every- ooh, this is a D6 day. Um, yeah, not liking the idea of this. <laughs> I don't want random dogs spawning everywhere around us. Uh, you can track me. I'm heading directly north. About to go hunt a rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. I'll hey, I'm trying to get a double damage on it. Alright, fine, we'll go back. 
So they added this new thing called pressure plate mines. That we need to make a few of them and put them at the uh, base of our building so the zombies would trigger them. And not in front of our doorways, of course. We do not want uh, it around our building either. We want it kind of in the road there. Yeah, I'm going straight northeast. So it's right over here and there's a building. Let's go check that building out. That's also the theater. Looks like no, a police station the there. That is. Yeah, it looks like a police station. We can use more guns. We only got pistols right now, so <laughs> I kinda lost my shotgun. Also lost my crossbow, but we have a uh yeah, I'm not sure what that's used for yet. Oh, nice. I got a mini bike uh, part. Uh, yep, mini bike part. So we've got everything needed to make an auger except the auger blade as well. And we already found a chainsaw around October, dude. There you go. And loot away. Definitely a police station. I can't really break any of these metal doors. I, I don't have a pickaxe. Because we lost it when my backpack got destroyed by that massive horde. Well, as we literally had like a day seven horde in the hub city. <laughs> and there was like 80 zombies at once. It was insane. Might be a wall safe in this closet. It's the other side then. I'll let her load everything since she was the one recording, so it's easier to do that and just kind of show you guys what the loot is like in the police stations now. Not that it's any different than it was before, but you may find a little bit of a different variety of items. Last time it was mostly paper, tin cans, coffee beans, and the bathrooms for some reason. <laughs> and, uh, moldy bread representing donuts. Nice. And she's showing you something new they added. Uh, the safes are automatically locked now, so you have to break them. You have to break the lock off of it by targeting the lock and hitting it until it breaks. Yep. It can take a while depending on your weapon, usually 60 to 100 hits. Yes, it does. Just like this metal door, breaking it with a faulty fire axe. <laughs> yeah, I know, no worries. I'm just trying to loot things too. Okay. So see, yeah, uh, pick, pickaxes on those uh, safes are the best way to go, guys. Don't try to use a fire axe because it's metal, so it's not going to work. And I'll kind of sit around and guard the uh, entrance here. Make sure nothing gets through while we're building. And you guys can right click in your inventory now and drink and eat from that and so you don't have to actually change your tool from the weapon to the food anymore. Although most of the time we still do it that way. Because it's just out of habit. And so we're, we're kind of looting this hub city and then we're going to take everything we loot from here to go back to our main base. And fortify it some more, maybe make our farm there once we get some seeds. I'm not loading. 
and you guys can now fire outside of a uh, metal barred window, which is cool. It's definitely nighttime and we are looting a very fragile police station. On day 13, no less. So we're gonna have a day 14 horde coming soon. That'd make for an interesting video. And so we're trying to kick off our new uh, YouTube channel with these videos here and try to continue our series from our old YouTube channel in collaboration with our new partners and friends. And so yeah, it's gonna be a pretty awesome YouTube channel once we get it going. And I got the bottom floor kind of secured. some frames and a patch up them fragile windows drinking our toilet is the best part don't you know and then the apocalypse is better than mine We're good enough to uh, completely loot this place during the night and then hold up in there until morning. I'm kind of cowering fear, guys. Man, this uh, new fear factor they've added with the fog and the dynamic weather and stuff, it really does add to it. And uh, especially when it's like rain and thunderstorming, that's when it gets really bad. Like black and your flashlights don't even do very well. They are a pain to break open, that's why I usually break open the stone wall, right? Eh? And just squeeze my way through it. Yeah. The wall should be quite a bit easier to break. Used to be, anyway. You're being sensed. You're certainly sensing me because I'm getting the sensed icon. Are you carrying? No, I don't have anything on me. I hear a dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm already up here. I'm up. I'm breaking this little closet room here. See if I have a munitions crate. Corpse in here. Always oh, good to find a corpse, especially when he has ammo. Good job, corpse. You wouldn't die in vain, I guess. No, they know we're here. We're here and bashing stuff. There's a gun safe up here. I wouldn't 
No, you're looting it faster than I can do it. I'm not looting anything. I'm actually just breaking in. the stuff for you. Come on now. There's another door just to the left of that one that you don't have to break because I already broke into it. And then we should be able to get in here. I'm gonna kind of hold up over here by the guns there. Yeah. Okay. Yes, man. I'm being her pack mule. And so once she breaks that, we're going to stop the recording, and that's going to be it for episode 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little skit thingy that was on top of it. It was our failed episode 2. <laughs> yeah, it is very annoying. I don't like that they're all locked, because it just makes no sense that every single one of them would be locked. And they should give us like a uh, uh, paper bomb or something. Like a plastic explosive we can stick on there, like a sticky bomb, and just blow the gate and blow the lock on it. Oh it would be loud, but it would be awesome. Alright, so we're good to go. I'm on the top of that. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for episode 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, this one wasn't action packed like our previous failed episode 2. Uh, that one was like full of action. We started right in the middle of the hub city with the giant horde on us. Uh, it got hectic really fast. Uh, pretty much all of us died because Toker killed two of us, but... <laughs> yeah, he killed both of us. He's kind of bad aiming with those flaming arrows. So, yep, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. See you guys next time. And as always, if you liked it, hit that like button. It helps us out a lot, especially with a new YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see other games, you can go to uh, the Twitch